ladies, if you don't wear a wig, dog, wear it all day. But by the content of that character, we hold these truths to be feminine. Nothing wrong with that, baby. You must be proud. You must be proud. Good morning, y'all. What's up, y'all? It is Sunday morning. It's about 11.03, so me and Deanna run a couple of minutes late to church. So hopefully he can actually drive like we have to get somewhere to get so we won't, you know, miss too much of praise and worship. But we are heading to church this morning, um, our usual Sunday activity. Um, we're heading to the church that we went to uh, the first weekend we were back from our trip, I think. Yeah. Um, so we're heading there again. Um, and then after church, I think Dion and I are gonna try this barbecue place. There's a barbecue place here in Austin. No, it says you have to go with them. I'll call and see. I have to call and see if we can um, just walk in. But um, there's this place here in Austin. Um, it's a barbecue place, but on Sundays they have a gospel Sunday brunch. And um, I know Alicia and Cortez have been and they told us that it was like really good. So I think we're gonna try it out today. So if I do that after church, um, and then after that, I know Dion has to get back home to do a lot of studying. He really has to study yesterday, even though he has tomorrow off. What sucks because you know most corporate jobs don't have or at least can say off. Don't know why we should. Um, but I, I don't. I don't have off tomorrow, but he does since he's in school. So he'll just study, you know, the rest of the day and then tomorrow. What's up, job turkeys? A. Hey, so uh, I'm pretty sure you just heard Monique's little spill about everything that's going on in our life. People have comments in like, house. like, why do you call you Monique? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, in the last vlog, he called me Monique. Oh, that's true. And they're like, why did he call you Monique? Yeah. And I commented and I said, it's because you've been calling me Monique. That's my little name, so you've been calling me Monique. You know. For as long as we've been together. Yeah. yeah, it depends on how I feel. It's what name usually I call. You know, everybody calls like, hey, baby, boo, Judy. All that kind of stuff. I'm just not that guy. They call you beautiful. You call me beautiful. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I do call it beautiful and gorgeous all the time. Yeah, but anyways, yo, so, yeah. So look, so yeah, I woke up this morning and I was just like, I was thinking, and I was like, I was inspired. I'm like, I'm excited to study. I'm excited okay, to do cool. homework, and uh, just like get stuff done, like stuff like that. And then the first thing that came to my mind was. It's necessary. Where are we going? So yeah, so the first thing that came to my mind was it was necessary. And I was like, I was like, Lord, why why are you saying that? Like, so then I thought, then I thought about like, okay, what does that mean? What am I supposed to get from that? And then that's when he brought it to light for me, that is, is that. I've been preparing you all this time just to get you here to this point so that you can love what you do, how you do it, and what you're going to do. You know? So that made, right that made so much sense to me. So in terms of saying that, to me, I'm here to tell somebody else that this process or whatever you may be going through is where you're supposed to be right now. It's where you're supposed to be right now. So uh, just remember to yourself, just keep reminding yourself that it's like, it's necessary in order to get you where you need to be. That's all I wanted. Just to tell y'all what happened to me this morning. Just to try to inspire, inspire someone else. That's my goal. Hey guys, so we are out of church and we're trying to find something to eat. We tried to go to this place that me and Dion have really wanted to go to called Stubbs Barbecue. And on Sundays they have, um, like a gospel brunch and um so we drove so we left church church got out of plaque while we were one ish and we drove over here but apparently like during the gospel brunch like you have to be there at 10 30 or at 12 30 because a band i guess does like two sets basically i went ahead and just put us on this on the um reservation list for it next week just to make sure that we can catch a spot next week so we're gonna go to 12 31 um next sunday um, so now we're trying to just figure out where we're gonna go next. I think Dion said we're just gonna go to Denny's. I, I just want to eat something, something that's like um, breakfast food, I guess. Or maybe he's he's calling somewhere now. I don't know where we're gonna eat, but um, the backup is Denny's if you can find out nowhere else because Denny's is cheap and we can get something that we both like that can fill us up. And then we're gonna head home. What's up, y'all? Turkey, turkey, turkeys. Anyways, y'all. So 
It's Sunday, 11.10, and my schedule is way, 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 way off. So tomorrow, I'll be back up, hopefully at 5.30, 6 o'clock, getting on it, getting to this gym, getting my business done, doing some studying. You ain't got to swerve on them, swerve on them. Stop on them. Look left, look right. Going down. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that too, y'all. <laughs> Man, yeah, so I hope everybody's Sunday is great or whatever. And, uh, y'all, we just getting ready for bed. Yeah, y'all, we ain't done nothing. I think I, well, I haven't vlogged since so I'm right 20. Here. I mean, sorry. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna be vlogged since right before we went to Denny's. Okay, yeah, so, anyways, we went to Denny's and then literally just came home. I took a nice little two hour nap. It was wonderful. Of course, my little normal Sunday nap. So I did that. And then Dion just worked on paper, I think. I think he's working on paper while I was sleeping. So literally y'all, we literally came home after eating and then just did nothing the rest of the day and it was beautiful. But um, let me show you guys real quick how this uh, like little living room situation came together. So this is what our TV stand is looking like so far. TV, TV stand is a special. Have a little shelves. I told you guys that we put that in there last night. That's when we got from at home. Excuse my purses. They're just, <laughs> need to move those. But um, yeah, so I told you we got this, the one on the middle shelf, this one right here from at home yesterday. Um, we're still trying to decide if you want to keep it or take it back and get something else. But for right now, we're just gonna leave it just there just to kind of see how we like it. Um, that we've already had. And then I also told you guys that we bought this bamboo stick thing and this gold vase yesterday. The gold vase was from home goods and then the bamboo stick thing was from at home. So this is how it looks from a wide view. Uh, me and Dion have to find something to go on this wall right here. I think we're gonna do, do like a stool or a bench or, or some, no. I think we're gonna do like a stool or a chair or something right here. Um, I don't know, cause we couldn't get nothing else to go right there. So if I do like either a stool or a chair, and then um, this hasn't changed much since we like the first couple days we moved in here. I feel like this has been pretty consistent. Okay, so I told you guys that we had ended up getting this like blush pink picture or like floral picture and then I got this white and gray and silver striped shower curtain with these like blush pink um, bath mats and just floor mats. Um, so yeah, it has like a little nice touch pink in it, but it's not too girly. Like it's soft enough to where I can pull it off for like me and Dion's joint bathroom. If that makes sense. So I can still kind of like mute it down a little bit. It's not like too crazy, but this is basically it. And then I still have that picture or that plant that I got yesterday also from um, Home Goods. And then our little soap dish and a toothbrush holder. Um, the tags are still on the stuff, you guys. I haven't taken the tags off yet, so ignore that. But um, and then just a little towel stand. So, so that is what we are working with so far. Oh, and then we also have to get bar stools for a little eating area right here. Because me and Dion, whenever we get our dining table, we're actually, we actually plan on um, like really decor, like you, like you plan on decorating the table. So of course we won't be eating there on a daily basis. We kind of just like get some nice little plates and stuff, have it set up. And then whenever we have guests, you know, we'll sit there, which we ain't really gonna have really not a lot of guests, but really just for like the ambiance of it and just having it set up. but. Typically, day to day, we'll just eat here at the little counter right here. And so we have to get um, some bar stools to go right here. I think I'm gonna order three because I feel like this is long enough, or just long enough to get three right there and still have some space in between each one. So I have to go ahead and order um, those. And then, so this is the wall that I wanna go ahead and do something right here. I originally, on this wall right here, I want to put a full length gold mirror right there. I thought like that'd be really nice, but Dion doesn't really want to. So if anyone has a suggestion on what could go on this wall right here, please, please, please leave it down below because y'all, other than like a long something, I have no, like I, I, I just have no idea what else could go right there. So if anyone has some suggestions, please go ahead and leave it down below. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Seriously, any. Idea suggestions will be greatly, greatly appreciated. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Good morning, or no, it's not morning time. Afternoon guys. Say hey pumpkin dumpling. Y'all see Dion on my vanity. Uh, he's on my vanity studying um, 
for school. I was like, babe, why don't you use the other desk? And he was like, well, he likes that, that it has the mirror so you can like lean his, um, his iPad up again. So he just been sitting here all morning studying. But hey y'all. So Dion made me this smoothie. Okay, baby, tell them what's all in here. A lot of stuff. You see, okay, so first he made it and it was pink. And then I came out there and I said, okay, did you, did you have some greens to it? I was just saying it just to ask if he did. I wasn't asking him to put greens in there. And then I walked away and then he came in the room with this smoothie and you see it's brown. So he added like less mix in here. Why are you doing that? It doesn't that? taste bad, do it? It doesn't taste, it, okay, and honestly, so why and honestly it doesn't taste it? that bad. Okay, I just picked it up. My God, what's up, Jive Turkeys? So anyways, we're drinking on this brown smoothie. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what's in it. Pineapples, I think pineapples is in here. Berries, right? I think it has berries, fresh pineapple. Anything else? Yeah, berries, strawberries, fresh pineapples, water, um, Probably like less than a fourth a cup of apple juice. So it's just like for taste. Just, just kind of for taste. Yeah. And uh, yogurt, plain yogurt, broccoli, a little bit of carrots, and spinach mix. Uh, spring mix. Equal carrots in here? I don't eat carrots. So? Doesn't mean you can't drink. Y'all, you trying to trick me. You know, I, I don't if you if you know me I don't eat carrots I've never I don't like carrots I don't eat them ever. <laughs> See, trying to trick me, but I but I can't taste it in here. So exactly, it doesn't even have bad, doesn't bad. even have carrots in it. I thought it would start off easy. I just lied. <laughs> Is it doesn't have carrots in it? So it's just but greens. Mm -hmm. Just that spring mix. I think it's like kale. Uh, like Carol Romaine. Carol Romaine lettuce and uh, spinach. Spinach. Yeah, it has a little bit of everything in there. But it's cool for what it is, but it ain't all that. Not that bad. I thought this is probably as good as it's going to get with me. <laughs> when it comes to like adding green smoothies. But anyway, y'all, it's Monday. MOK day. I had a dream. That one day. I, I don't even know the excerpt. I don't even know an excerpt, an excerpt from his speech. I had a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meanings of his creed. We hold these truths to be self evident that all men, I mean all men, are created equal. Wow. I have a dream that one day my four little children <laughs> will live in a nation where they would not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Yes, sir. We hold these truths to be self evident. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were too serious with that. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. He was, like, he was, he was too serious. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> <Just> <laughs> <him off. laughs> he was he was too into it. He's, that's what needs a good to call, cut him off. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I'm done, y'all. Back to Gina looking like Erica Badu. Isn't that wrong with my hair again? That's why I was it's, not, it's not the wrong with your hair. Yes, it is. You should make a joke about it. <laughs> you just got those little wingworms going all the way around. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll take a picture. <laughs> Study anyway instead of cracking jokes. Please, he he gonna be laughing when he get a D in his on his test. I won't. Cause he not, cause he not studying. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. So it is Monday afternoon. I think it's twelve twenty three. I think. Um. So it's still kind of early. Me and Dion are going to the movies today. Well, he's off today for MLK Day. My job does not give us MLK Day off. I still don't know why. I think MLK Day should be celebrated by everybody, but. So, since he's off, he's spending like most of his day studying and stuff. And then at four o'clock, our movie starts. We're gonna go see Hidden Figures, finally. So we're gonna go see Hidden Figures on like the movies at, I think our movie's at 4.15, I don't know. We're gonna go to the movies um, at four. Um, that's of course a movie that I feel like I really 
want to and need to go see. I think we're gonna make tonight for dinner, I think we're gonna make baked salmon and probably sweet potatoes and broccoli or something. Or maybe roasted potatoes and broccoli. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But something with salmon, because Dion just took it out, so. Nothing much going on now. I'm about to sit here and open up these pictures and try to get those um, wedding pictures put in there. So that way Dion could go ahead and put the picture frames up above our bed and get that probably knocked out. Cause that is the last thing that has to be done as far as like stuff that we actually have. Um, so I want him to go ahead and put those pictures up above the bed and get them knocked out. To say I do, but I'm gonna finish drinking my smoothie. This looks so disgusting. Like this brown color just looks so gross. But of course it's from the greens. Say hey, Papa. What are you doing? Work. Hey y'all, so we're headed to the movies right now. We had we're running late because we had to make a pit we had to make a pit stop at the um Dollar Tree to get some snacks. So anyways, as I mentioned this morning, we're going to go see Hidden Figures, which I'm excited to see. Uh and this is one of those places that has like the reclining chairs which is good because i always like to be relaxed and watch movies we are walking in now and we'll talk to you guys afterwards hey what's up ja turkeys so uh we just left the movie hidden figures and i can honestly say it was the, the freaking movie from beginning to the end was freaking amazing. It was so like, good. When I say it was so inspiring, it right here, makes right, me... Right it like, it makes me want to go back home and study just so I can just overcome each and every obstacle thrown in my way. Like... It was that. It was so... They can't even see me, but... <laughs> literally, literally, I feel like it was just a testament to like people just faced with so many obstacles and uh, just like overcoming them step after step. Every wall they hit, they were managed to just overcome. Like, And they were so golly. determined. And I think the one thing that I loved is the fact that like, I mean, you have three women, three black women who literally each were like trying to like make, you know, their own path. Their own path. And literally all three of them were determined like to, to to do and get done what they want to get done. I mean, literally all three of them were doing something. We're doing something different. I mean, well, they all work the same place, but like as far as like what they wanted to accomplish, like, each path was different. Yeah, each path was different. It was like based I mean, in you this, have the supervisor path, you have the, right, the, engineer, the engineer path, and, and then, then of course you, you have, have just the, the, the mathematician mathematician. Path. So it's just trajectory. it's just amazing just to see like how. Like what can happen when you like literally are determined and you work your butt off. And I told Dion like, I mean, it's just amazing. Refuse, to oh, right here. And you just refuse to let, and you just refuse to let anybody tell you what you tell can. Tell you what you can and can't do. Yeah, like seriously y'all, like it was freaking amazing. It was, the movie was freaking amazing. And I, y'all know by now, I don't really like movies. I usually fall asleep on them, fall asleep in the movie theater. Yes, I'm that guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. But uh, the movie was freaking amazing, y'all. At the end of the movie, y'all, I actually like kind of teared up a little bit. I was like, yeah. Like, I know there's light at the end of the tunnel. Like, that was confirmation just for me. I'm painting a picture to where I want to be and how I'm trying to get there. What? Black boy magic? <laughs> yep, I just took it and turned it around. Oh. Yep, so uh, Gina just ran his... Gina just ran inside of Sally's Beauty Supply. She always needs something from Sally's. I promise I feel like her whole check go to Sally's. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm just sitting in the car waiting on Gina to come back out. Yeah, this is my random tangent for the day, y'all. Ladies, if you're going to come, man, if you're going to wear a wig, dog, wear it all day. Like, don't get comfortable and be like, oh, I ain't got to put on my wig today. We don't want to see that, dog. We don't want to see that. Like, we don't want to see that all day. If you wear a wig, wear a wig all day. Like, don't get home and get comfortable putting on this dashiki on your head. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, you're always cute. I'll take that back. You're always cute. But, Lord, can you just put on Stacy today for, like, one minute? One minute. Anyways, y'all, that's my running tangent for the day. Ladies, wear your wigs. 
please. Slide through with the boot. Y'all, look at her. Look. No Stacy. That's what I be talking about. No. No Stacy. I heard looking like she would out. Mm. Look, I'm fucking my hair. Even I do never walk, walk around with this scarf on. I don't ever go in public with this scarf on, but... I, today, after I off work, mm -mm, I was just like, whatever. This is what they gonna get. Y'all, sometimes, <laughs> y'all would think she'd be at work for 15 hours in the office. That's how tired she'd be. I didn't say I was tired. I just said I just didn't feel like doing it. Okay, so Deanna told me that he told that he told y'all about how I waited to tell him he's messy. I honestly didn't realize it until we like, you know, whenever you. we was in the movies, whenever I like, leaned over by him, I smelt it. That's how I know it's maybe a little must to must. It's okay but though. What did I do? I don't know, Papa. I've been in the house all day. Yeah. Just sweating. Probably what it is. No, it's a must be on the nasty behind. It probably is. See, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I just go home and get in the shower. I didn't say there's nothing wrong with that, baby. You can be musty and be proud. Be musty and proud. Oh, I will. Be musty and proud. Musty and proud. <laughs> musty but, and proud. okay, anyways, I'm sure Dion gave y'all a spiel about the movie, but yeah, it was always so good. Like, that's like a, a must see. Like, it was like black excellence, like female empowerment, just all wrapped up in one. Yeah, so y'all, we about to just head back to the, his house. I'm about to make some baked salmon. Yeah, I'm about to make no baked salmon. I guess I, I haven't had nothing else to eat, so I have to make you something have to, make to some eat. Some pan seared salmon. Oh, pan seared salmon, my bad, y'all. I'm about to make some pan seared salmon, um, noodles, and probably um, salad. All right, y'all. So, on today's episode of Kyra's trying to be healthy journey, um, for dinner, I cooked. Pan seared salmon, so we just have four fillets. I pan seared them just in um, a pan on the stove. We put a little bit of olive oil in the pan, and then I season the salmon with a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning and um, this like Mexican seasoning that me and Dion um, use. I can't, I don't know where it's at. Oh, I think it's put it in here. It's called. Um, Sazon completa, complete seasoning. Um, so we, so I mix a little bit of the lemon pepper with that, and then of course put the fillets in the pan, pan sear them on both sides. Um, me and Dion both prefer our, our fish a little bit, um, a little crunchy with a little bit of like little burnt crust on it. Um, so that's like exactly how we like it. So I made that, and then I also made this um, just like noodle package. I threw the pack away, but it was like a bacon smokehouse flavored noodle or something like that. I don't know, but something simple just to have on the side. And then of course we have our salad. One thing I'm also trying to do aside from eating healthy is I'm also trying to get off of sodas. So if you guys have noticed recently that I only drink soda now whenever we go out somewhere and I'll order soda then, um, but I'm not buying soda for the house. So um, to help <laughs> curb my cravings, I've been really, reaching for um, sparkling waters. This is literally the greatest substitute for soda because it still gives you that, you know, carbonated feeling. I mean, it's flavored, but it's, you know, of course it doesn't have all the caffeine and stuff and sugar and all that stuff um, as normal soda does. So that is our dinner. Um, so I eat dinner, wash these dishes, and then chill the rest of the night. That's really about it. So yeah, we'll talk to you guys either later tonight or in the morning.